Okay, so now we want to fetch the individual product data. So as you can see here, we are fetching the data based on the ID of the product. So if I go into my playground, what we essentially did before was we fetched all of the product's data here, as you can see. So if I delete this query for now, and if I scroll up to the top, you can see the individual product. So if I hover over this, it says retrieve a single product. So if I expand, what I essentially want to do, we want to get the ID. So if I just get the ID equal to this one for now, so this will be dynamic based on the ID we get from router.query. But if I get this ID, what I want to get is the images. So the URL for now, the name, the price and reviews. So the name of that. And if I first of all press play, as you can see, this product ID is a snapback. It doesn't have any reviews. The price is showing up and it also has an image URL. So essentially what we are doing is we are passing in the ID here in the query. So what we need to do is we need to pass that in as an argument. So if we go into our query.ts in our lib folder, I'm going to create a new query. So the query I want this time, and if we test this out, is the following. So if I paste this in and press play, all of this data is what I want back. So I have got this in here in my original code. So all I'm going to do is bring the get product query in here and paste it in underneath. So essentially what we are doing is get product takes in a ID. So ID is equal to the type of ID coming from GraphQL and Graph CMS. where so product, if you can see in here, it says product where ID is equal to the ID here. We are passing in this ID, which is equal to the ID in this argument here. So essentially what we are saying is this ID gets passed down in here. And then we do a filter and fetch the product data for the ID we are passing in. So all we need to do now is export this to get product call. So like so, and now save. What I also want to do is in my hooks folder so if we go in hooks we created this use products here like so so if we just copy this and create a new hook in here so a new file named use product so this will be singular dot tsx and press enter if we paste this in and now instead of get products we want to get the single product like so and the single product needs to take in an id this time so the way we pass in an argument is it takes in variables on the use query. So the second argument takes in variables. So if I put in a comma and expand out an object, as you can see, it takes in variables like so. And the only variable that we want is ID. And now this ID will be coming from our use products hook. So we need to pass it in here as an argument. And this ID will be a type of string as well. So now if I save, we now need to use this use product hook. So if I delete this S from here and here, we now need to use this use product hook in our id.tsx page here. So in our product info page, if we do const, and we want to have access to the loading state, error and data, which is equal to use product, and we need to import that in id as string. So we are, using the id from the router.query we are passing it in as a string all we want to do now is render this out onto the page so i'm just going to bring in my code so if loading return loading if error return error and what i want to do is i'm destructuring the data.product but i also want to console log the data i am getting back so the product and now if i save it, it was loading and then it resolved with some data and to verify this, if we go in our console, you can see here we are getting an object back this time. And this is returning categories, description, ID, images, name and price along with reviews. So now we just need to map this out and render it onto the page.